What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be unboxing another Soda Pop Funko. So uh, we're going to check it out. This is from Pop Culture. There was a customs charge to pay on there. The customs charge that we had on two of the soda cans that we had to get was £12.73. So not too bad for two of them. So that's pretty good. So just over six quid each on customs charges and the cans themselves are around about £13 to buy. Um, there are quite a few that I've ordered. So I ordered quite a lot of them. They are coming in dribs and drabs, which just isn't too bad. But if it came as one package, we probably have about a £30 customs charge to pay. Uh, whereas we're getting, uh, you know, the 11 to £12 custom charges on each one that we are receiving or each two that we are receiving. So they weren't out when I ordered them. So they are, as they come into stock, what um, pop culture tend to do is just send them out as they come. So I'm going to have a look because I can't even remember which ones we've got. As you can see, packaging wise, absolutely amazing really good um we uh got them again in the um the little holders things so that's really cool someone did say in the last video what they were called and i've already forgot so I do apologize for that but um thank you very much so there we go so that's that so just checking if there's anything else in there no there's loads of newspapers so it's really good they are protecting the cans which is really cool because you know we want them protected i Again, okay, so we're going to hope for the chase again. If we don't get the chase, then we'll just hunt for it manually on eBay or someone will have it in America, which will ship to the My US account. Want to hope that we get maybe one of each again. I know that our luck isn't gonna is gonna run out soon. We, we, if you watched the last video, we'll just have the link um, to go to that where we got the Batman and we managed to find the chase for that too. So this is the Robin one, so that's cool. Um, Seven thousand five hundred pieces, so there's less pieces, which means there's going to be less chance of a chase in here. So got some more of these to um, have, so that's cool. We got like four of these now, so if anybody wants one of these, just contact us and we'll ship you one out. You can have one, it's fine. Um, right, so let's have a look. So you can tell that they're sealed. Reason being you can tell that they're sealed is because um, they've got the cellophane on them. So if the cellophane has been tampered with, I wouldn't trust these if people are trying to sell them with them open because it means that they've checked. There is a way that they could possibly just peel it back enough just to get the lid off to have a look. So you wanna make sure that that doesn't happen. We did a weigh in on the last lot that we had and they weigh exactly the same. So there's no other way of finding out whether there's a chase inside and there should be a mystery mini kind of bags inside, even though our chase one was kind of half bagged up. But um, if you do go watch that video, um, make sure you see that because that was quite kind of weird. I feel like this can has some sort of dent in it, but no, it's just must've been in the packaging. But like I said, there's only 7,500 of these made. And then there's a chance of chasing that. So with the other one where it was 10,000 pieces made, there was a chance of 1,600 of them being a Chase Funko. Um, Funko Soda, I call it Funko Soda. Um, but this Chase is going to be a lot less uh, possible on this, only because of the pure fact that there's less pieces. So the less pieces, the less chance you are to get a Chase. I do like that they do, that they do a Chase on each one. I don't know if it tells you straight away whether you found the chase. So, oh cool. So we found the chase again. So we got another chase Funko. So that's really cool. So first of all, we're gonna, I can't believe we got it again. It's so cool. So we found the chase Robin. Um, there's, so there's a one in 1,200 chance of finding the chase. And again, we found the chase. So I'm really happy with that. I know our luck is gonna run out. It's not gonna, it's not gonna last forever. So we're gonna just open up the bag and have a look at the chase version and then we'll hopefully got the normal version in here so we can check because like I said we want one of each so he again he is gold so he's really cool so there he is I will bring him close to you for you there you go so there he is so he's gold he's got his hands together I love these soda can funkers they're just so cool and I do love DC characters I'm going to collect them all um, I'm just hoping that Funko don't go crazy with them. But yeah, we got the chase again, so it's, that's absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do is just keep the packaging in there. I'm gonna keep him out. Um, my other Batman, I've actually displayed him out of box because he's just so cool. You can't keep him in the cans because that's just silly. And then we'll see in here what we've got. 
Oh yes, so we've got a normal one, perfect. So one in 6,300 um, of getting the normal Robin. So I'm so glad we've got the normal one and the chase again. So that's absolutely amazing. It's just, our luck at the minute is great. I know it's gonna run out, I know it's gonna run out. But you know what, if I was gonna get a chase on these ones and the ones that I would wanna get them, on the other ones I'm not as fussed because I collect DC mainly, but we're gonna give you a difference in comparison to what um, it is like so let's pop that back in the can and um, so this is the robin so this is a normal version of them it's so cool these uh, d just how they are I just really like them they're so quirky I know people are on the fence with these at the minute because you kind of like something new comes out and everyone's like are they going to be like daubs uh, are they going to be not very collectible are they going to be like the mystery minis because not alone there's not like a massive amount of people that collect the mystery minis the Funko Pop vinyls are the ones where people go crazy from because they make limited pieces and stuff like that but these are all limited every single one of these is a limited piece so you know I'm sure I'm not sure why everyone isn't on the bandwagon with this one because because it's absolutely insane that these are all limited pieces. I thought that when these went on pop culture or when they went on for sale, that they would sell out instantly because you think on the Funko shop, if they made 7,500 pieces, that wouldn't last long at all. So for the fact that you can still buy these in shops and on pop culture actually surprises me a lot. So there you go. So I'm really glad we've got one of each. So we found the chase again. <laughs> it's still buzzing. You can tell by my face, I'm absolutely buzzing that I've got these. So it's is absolutely immense so um, there you go so that is uh, Robin and the Robin Chase so there we go so we got that so the one in one in 1200 chances of getting that and we got him so guys thanks so much please tell me what you guys think about the soda Funko vinyls um, because I really want to know your opinion whether you are on the fence with these as well whether you just think they're too new um, you don't like the look of them anything just let us know in the comment section down below because I really want to know your, your opinion on what you think of these exactly think of these um, and why you wouldn't collect them or are you thinking about collecting them and what is stopping you or if you've got them what made you get them so um, let me know all of those questions in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on the next one if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I'll see you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.